next tonight to the Yorkshire surgeon who's changed the lives of dozens of children, helping them to walk. John Gooden's team at Leeds General Infirmary has pioneered complicated surgery which involves cutting nerves in the spine. Yes, it helps young people with cerebral palsy and the team's now reached a milestone, carrying out their 50th operation. Jamie Coulson has been to meet the latest patient to benefit and just a warning, his report does contain some pictures of surgery that you might not like. Not long to wait. Sheldon Vickers was born with a form of cerebral palsy that causes the muscles in his legs to be constantly tight. The nine-year-old finds it difficult and tiring to walk, but is about to become the latest patient to undergo a complex operation on the nerves in his spine to improve his walking. It's hard because I can't balance properly and sometimes I fall over. He's a big personality and this is just, it's going to help him just develop in so many areas, it really is. Sheldon is about to undergo a highly specialised operation called selective dorsal rhizotomy. A small incision will be made in his lower back to reveal the nerves that channel messages between the brain and different areas of the body. Specialist nerve monitoring will then be used to identify the specific nerves which are responsible for the muscle stiffness. Once cut, the muscles will relax, making it easier for Sheldon to walk. There you go, passive phylum. You see that? Yeah. It takes about an hour to expose and separate out the sensory nerves in the spine before doctors start a painstaking process of using electrical stimulation to identify which nerves need to be cut. That's the least active of the three, so I'd say cut two, preserve three. Thank you. Cutting two now. I've got to know exactly what I'm doing because if I cut the wrong nerve, I could cause paralysis. So from that point of view, it's immensely complex and I've really got to focus on what I'm doing. Until a few years ago, children had to travel to America for this operation, but now it's available at five centres here in the UK. And last year, it also became available for many on the NHS. And for those like Sheldon, it could be genuinely life-changing. Cutting two and keeping three. This could mean the difference between him ending up in a wheelchair in a few years' time and carrying on being able to walk. It is that, it is that big a difference, it is that significant. After three hours, the operation is over and has gone well. So we're just going to step one leg at a time. Good boy. Four days later and Sheldon has already started to take his first steps. I feel really happy because now I can, now I can um, join in with all the stuff that I couldn't join in before. Brilliant little steps. For Sheldon, the hard work now begins with years of physiotherapy to come. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North. Well, John Gooden joins us now along with another of his young patients, Cameron, who relied on uh, a walking frame and braces to help him get around, and his mum, Nicola. Uh, Nicola, you very kindly allowed us to film um, with Cameron um, when it was announced that this operation would be available on the NHS. Cameron's since had the operation. What difference have you seen? Well, it's been completely life-changing for us all, really. He's um, gone from crawling round <laughs> on the floor to walking about now on crutches, and it's just all happy, happy now, instead of the blackness that we used to have before. It's it's just been a miracle, really. I can tell you're happy about it. You can't stop smiling, Cameron. Cameron, tell me, what sort of things are you looking forward to being able to do when you fully recover from the operation? What sort of things that you couldn't do before? Um... I couldn't walk real, and now I just want to run around with my sister. Good old boy. Of course you do, you want to run around, and you want to wrestle with your sister, I hear. Yeah. I'm not sure she'll be very happy about that. <laughs> I, I think you are a good one, John, if I may say so. Uh, let Thank me just you. ask you, why were you so passionate to make sure that this was available on the NHS? I went out to America to learn about the technique and to learn how to do it and I saw it making a huge difference to children in a really short space of time that within a few weeks of the surgery they were getting up and walking around and just carrying on improving so quickly. Uh, watching that piece from Jamie and the intricate cutting that you've got to do shows how precise it's got to be. This is still only a trial, how confident are you that it will continue? Oh, I'm very confident. Um, I think. The differences I've seen over the last two and a half years with, with the children such as Cameron that I've operated on has been absolutely vast. And one of the problems has been that 
the, there hasn't been a lot of data out there for NHS England to look at. And with this trial they're doing, they're going to get that data, I'm sure. Oh, Cameron, we can see a picture of you here walking smiling. in our newsroom, <laughs> still smiling. Nicola, what does it mean to you as a mum to be able to see your son walking? It's just, I just know now he's going to be all right. If ever it happens to me and his dad, I just know he's going to be all right now. I know he's going to be independent and he's just going from strength to strength and he's determined and we've bred that in him. So I'm just... As a mum, I couldn't wish for anything else. I'm I know sure. him and his sister's going to be all right now. What an incredible gift you give them, uh, Mr Good. And thank you very much thank for you. all coming in. And, and best of luck, Cameron. We we'll look forward to seeing you running and jumping in six months' time. Definitely. <laughs> See you later. And thank I hope you. that's cheered you all up at home. It's certainly cheered yeah. us up.